All right, hello everyone, it's Silver Kyle here, and today I'd like to talk about some amazing news for people that own a PlayStation Vita, and for those that are interested in purchasing a Vita in the near future. Um, and before I get into this, I just want to say that this is an awesome strategy on Sony's part, and I'm really glad that they're going this direction. Um, what it's called is cross-buy. Um, at GamesCon today, Sony has announced that if you buy select PlayStation 3 titles, you will get the Vita version of that game completely free. Now that is amazing news. That is, is uh, po quite possibly the best news we've heard from Sony this year. Um, it's such a smart strategy on their part, and I th really think that this is going to help the Vita sales. So the three titles are PlayStation All-Stars, uh, Sly Cooper Thieves in Time, Ratchet & Clank Full Frontal Assault. So if you buy any of those three games for the PlayStation 3, you will get the Vita version of that game for free. Um, it's, it's, it's just, it's so smart because it, it'll make more people want to buy the Vita, um, and it also help those, uh, those first party titles. It will make more people want to go out and buy those Sony games. So that's really smart on Sony's part because they'll be making much more money with the Vita, they'll have more people buying those first party games, and then it's, it's good for the consumers because you pay for one game and you also get another version of it on the Vita. So it's just, it's a win-win situation. I'm really glad they're doing this. I cannot wait uh, to get my hands on these. I'm definitely gonna be picking up PlayStation All-Stars, and I was actually considering getting it for the Vita and the PlayStation 3, and now I'm going to be able to get it for both for about $60. It's, it's, it's amazing. However, as, as amazing as all this news is, there is a little bit of a downside. Um, PlayStation All-Stars has announced that it is actually delayed, so it was going to come out in uh, late October, and now it's been pushed back to late November, November 20th. Um, it's just been pushed back basically a month. It's not all that bad, uh, but it is still delayed. And another one is that, not related to Gamescom at all, or Sony, but um, Nintendo Wii, uh, the uh, last story, which was um, an RPG that was finally coming over to North America, has at least been delayed in Canada, and I believe in uh, America as well. I'm not, I'm not fully certain if it's in the US as well, but I know in Canada it has been delayed. It was supposed to come out today, and now it looks like the date will be on Friday the 21st. Um, because uh, I went to go pick up the game today and they told me it was delayed. So, you know, very awesome news with just a little bit of bad news, but it's just delays. So I can certainly handle that and I cannot wait uh, to try out All-Stars on both systems. Talk to you later, everyone.